there, my art friends. I just got my powerful packs in the mail. And I thought I'd do a quick unboxing and show you what I got. Now, first off, most importantly, what beverage are we drinking today with our unboxing? Well, today I'm drinking the Ace Seasonal Craft Cider Ginger for a ginger. I like this. It's different. It's not as um, potent and sour as normal cider beers. It's not dry, but it's not quite tart either. So I like it a lot. All right, for those of you that don't know, Palatful Packs is an art subscription box that you get every month in the mail. I believe there's two different levels. This is the premiere, or the it's the highest level with most in it. I will have their website down below if you're interested. So let's get into this bad boy. Oh, she ain't shy this month showing us what we got. Oh, and I forgot... They send electronically now a list of what items we're getting and describing it. Um, this looks pretty straightforward. I just don't have prices. So we have a Strathmore watercolor paper cold press, 12 sheets. This is the 400 series. And this opens from the side. Ta-da! Very thick 400 series paper. Nice, nice, nice. And it's funny, I just mentioned in my sketch box for May how I didn't like watercolor. It's not that I don't like it, it's just I suck at it. <laughs> and I did take a class here recently, and I didn't really get any better. So watercolor just isn't my thing. But I can tell right away this is an awesome box. I know a lot of people are into watercolor, so this is going to be rock star for most people, I believe. I'm excited to get it, I just i am not that good at watercolors. All right, next up, Strathmore watercolor postcards. These are really fun. You get 15 of them. Um, this one is 140 pound. This is probably cold press, does it say? I don't know. It doesn't say. But um, four by six, nice little postcards. Is there anything on the back? Yes. I like it when they've got this already on the back for us. That's cool. So we can make our own little postcards to keep in touch with our friends and family in these times of not going anywhere or social social distancing. I'm going to leave that for last. But, oh, mine's a little... Mine's seen better days. We're a little lopsided. We've got a gimpy, a gimpy side. Ooh, this feels nice. This is a Weep Mop Oval by Silver. This, is this real? I wouldn't think so, but it feels almost like real bristles. But uh, there we go. Always good to get one of these brushes. Brushes in general I love to get. Okay, this is the, the fun goodie in the box. This is a pocket box by Van Gogh. This is some watercolors you can take with you. We have 12 pans in here by Royal and Talons. Royal Talons. Now I have the Cotman set. Oh, we get a white. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why they put whites in these. Have I already got this dirty? It appears that way. I'm such a mully grub. Ooh. Nice. So you don't ruin your fingernails. Push there, open up. Ta-da. All right, let's write down what kind of colors we get real quick in case you do not know. Chinese white, permanent lemon yellow. Azo yellow medium, permanent red light. Uh, Matter Lake Deep, is that what that says? Ugh. Ultramarine Deep, Cerulean Blue, Sap Green, Viridian, Payne's Gray, I like Payne's Gray in these, Yellow Ochre, and Burnt Sienna. So they give us a Payne's Gray, which is great, but this white, I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. 
Now I am going to try to lift this off in one piece because what I'll do if if these are not marked on the bottom, I will cut these out and put them on the bottom of the pan so I know what I have. And if I want to add to my collection here, I don't dupl duplicate it. Let's see if we got it written on the bottom. We don't. So I'll try to cut out the names and either put it on the side here or somewhere on just these guys so I know what I have in here. So that's very cute. And we have our little palette up here. So this is a to-go palette. And um, here's this guy. Ta-da! So very nice. Let me get my little Cotman one just so we can compare. Okay, so this is really hard to get open, just to let you know. So this little Cotman one has a strike against it already because it's hard to get open and it's going to destroy my nails. Uh, looks like a lot of the same colors. We've got a more vibrant blue over here. And I actually added, I took out the Chinese white in this one and added just a neutral color. So um, we'll see what I do with this one. But yeah, this, the Van Gogh is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I mean, they're both very small and travel friendly, so. All right, let me put this to the side. And I'm going to take the little names off and put it on here. And then I'm going to do some swatches for you. So I went ahead off camera and made a little swatch card from our watercolor postcards. So we can test these out. I cut it down to size to fit right here in the lid. And... Uh, I'm not really sure what this is for, but what I'm going to use it for is it fits really nice down in here to pop this out. And you can use that for another mixing tray or keep this down here while you're working. This just clicks down in. And then this is really good to dig out these guys, which I've already, by the way, I went ahead and cut out the names and the little numbers and their light fast little indication right here on my half pans. So ready to go, ready to swatch. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of activate my colors with this spray. This is just water. Get those going. Okay, I'm gonna use the little brush that came in this set. Mainly because I think it's cute. Uh, let's do the lemon yellow next. Oops. I've mixed these up. I've already screwed up my card. That sucks. Well, I will take little arrows so I know what the hell's going on. Well, isn't it like me to screw up something so easy as making a swatch card? Good lord. I guess I've drank too much of my beverage already. Okay, this one, Matter Lake Deep. Let's see if I can get this correct the rest of the way. Permanent red light. I shouldn't load up my brush that much, huh? Just kind of want these to fade out a little bit. It's 
cerulean blue or phalo. That's what I know it as. Let me see if I can not get so much color on my brush. There we go. That's better. Ultramarine deep. They have really nice color payoff though. That's something that the Cotman colors that I have, you know, they just weren't really that vibrant. So maybe this, I'm going to like this little guy a lot better. Yeah, the other one I had was, it's a little lackluster, you know. I don't work with watercolors enough to realize that it kind of sucked, but it kind of sucked. Um, we'll compare after I'm done here. Viridian. Oops. Way, way too much color. Nope. I can thin it out. There we go. Sap green. I'm expecting this to be beautiful. And it is. Burnt Sienna. Yellow Ochre. We're not going to swatch this worthless white. Not going to do it. Payne's Gray. I love the color Payne's Gray. I don't know why. It's so useful. I mean, it's better than the black. It's a little bluish, navy bluish. Ooh, that's got some ass to it, doesn't it? Loaded the brush up a little too much there with pigment. Okay. One other thing to note is after I took that film off of this, there, it left like a sticky residue and it had like black grime stuck to it like real quick. Um, so of course I went around with alcohol and Q-tip because I'm crazy. That sticky fuzziness really bothered me. Just something to note if you were thinking about buying this, um, you're going to have to wipe it off with alcohol because that film really stuck to it there. Okay, my card's almost dry. We just have a little bit of wet spots going on here. But I wanted to compare, just in case anybody give a shit, these are the Windsor and Newton Cotmans, and here are the Van Goghs. If you'd like to compare these two. I guess maybe it's just in my mind that these are more vibrant, but they kind of are. I know my camera's not picking it up, but just so you know, Anyway, yeah, I think this is a cute little set here. I, like I said, I'm not much of a watercolor person, but I know a lot of people are, and this is going to be, I think, just a rock star box for a lot of people that like watercolor. This is cute. So, yeah, I think I'm going to give this box a thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you like these kind of videos, you know the drill. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.